and then you can create a creative environment now <laughs> there are there are different types of creative environment right i am um, i like to call myself a neat freak as best that i could be i'm a clutter free type of individual my wife on the other hand my wife is very inspirational with different objects being around or what i would call being good out one. of good <laughs> one <laughs> what i would call being out of place right so she puts these inspirational objects <laughs> around the room <laughs> around the room that i may call clutter right but you know it it, it sparks her uh, her creativity um so just creating a creative environment um i i think it's key i think t the best way to do that is to uh designate a, a dedicated uh, creative space you know whether that's in your home or your office or wherever it is that you frequent right that the, you we, we could all develop a space and it doesn't have to be an entire room right it can just be a section of a room where you're dedicating to okay this is where i come to try and spark my creativity right and usually some additives that we can put in those spaces are natural light uh, we could put some plants we can add some colors we can put you know some things that personally inspire us whether that's pictures images anything that that we can use to to inspire us and to spark our creativity uh, you know i think that's the most important thing creating a creative environment